World War I. The notorious bloody war that ended with 10 million soldiers killed. What do you think of when you hear World War I? Trenches, Battle of the Somme, patriotic men marching to glory. Well, before they could even make it to the front line, they had to undergo vigorous combat training. It's 19th of January, 2015. Um, minus three, real feel. Um, 100 years ago, 10,000 soldiers will be waking up in the morning in these some tents out here a Happy Valley ready to train. Originally, 100 years ago, it was a barracks holding hundreds, possibly thousands of men. Um, now it's just a farm, really. Um, just a little horse field. Uh, a few months ago, we were here um, doing an excavation. We found quite a few interesting stuff, actually. Uh, it's just a small part of the entire camp, though. Um, the rest of it is over there. Thousands of people, ammunitions, weapons, a huge facility across all these rolling hills. Unbelievable. So have you um you found any like World War One stuff like while you've been here or We have. Just, um what have you found? We found well Ashley's found the horseshoe. Um, which was done in our courtyard. All right. Um, I think they kept the horses there, so it's um, very heavy metal. You'll be able to see it in a minute. Um, now we're going to go off into the unknown. We're going to take a walk down this path here. Um, like I said, we haven't been down here before. We don't know what we're going to find, but um, it's exciting. I mean, I know it's hard to imagine, but all of this, this huge expansive vista was just covered in tents and barracks and again I'm not too sure what was going on here exactly but um, no, it's, it's very very odd to think about um, unfortunately a lot of the people who came here didn't ever leave um, that's what this documentary is going to be about the deaths that occurred at this camp um, I mean most people think about the um, deaths happening on the battlefield you know ba Battle of the Somme stuff like that but there are lots of tragic stories actually about people who never even made it out of the tr training camp. And how did you know Joseph? Joe and I were both in the 10th Brigade of the Canadian Expedition. Um, we were both stationed at Shuang Army Camp together. And uh, what can you remember about the day he died? It started just as a normal day in the camp. It was fairly dry, sunny, typical day in May. Uh, in the morning, Joe said he felt a bit ill, and if he wasn't going to get better, he was going to see the medical officer. I just assumed it was a cold or something, really. Um, at about 1.45, uh, I was training on the firing point in the rifle range, and he was positioned in the, in the phone box just opposite myself. Anyway, he came over to me, and he asked if he could have a cigarette. At the time, I thought nothing of it, so I gave him one and um, he went off and not shortly after he called me over so I went over to him and he he said he'd been sick so I helped him down to the floor and I unclothed him and he suddenly vomited he was sick again um, and he said that he was experiencing pains in his in his head and his chest what did you do next um, I informed the officer in charge of the range, and then he took over. Tell us what happened when you got to the scene. So I got to the scene, and um, I saw Joe was lying down on the floor, um, and I'd noticed he was unconscious. He, he'd been vomiting as well. So I requested that a medical officer came to see him. Um, he, so he examined the deceased, and he requested that he were to be sent to a hospital immediately. What happened after the ambulance arrived? Joe was moved to the second Eastern General Hospital in Dyke Road. I accompanied him there. Um, it was waiting about 20 minutes or so um, and before he was taken to the St Mark's School Branch, Kemptown but the deceased died just before we arrived. I realise this must be hard for you. 